They drove off. Uh. Huh? Good morning, friends. It's bright and early on a Friday morning. Which do you prefer, waffles or pancakes? Let me go down in the comments. Pancakes. Jeremiah likes pancakes. I prefer waffles. Anyhow, we're gonna feed these baby birds. I've got a, I've got a lot to show you today. So, uh, I guess we're just gonna get right into it. Okay. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Robert. I am the bird master here at Daybird Aviaries. My son Jeremiah. He is here with me helping. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I'm here. We're just yeah. barely awake this morning. I am using Hagen Tropican Baby Bird Formula. Mixing this up. Uh, to the, you know, it's one part formula to two parts water, typically. Uh, a lot of that, you know, it's kind of like baking bread. It depends on the humidity in your room as to how much water this formula soaks up and absorbs. You want it the consistency of like a thin applesauce, um, kind of like a pancake batter. That's kind of what we were talking about pancakes earlier. This is a, it's a 20cc O-ring syringe. Uh, the plunger has an o-ring on it makes it real easy it has a lure lock tip and then this flexible uh, cannula on the end is it cannula or cannula c-a-n-n-u-l-a -N -N how about that uh, but it is flexible as you see also you can take this this is a um, well it's that got it at the dollar tree it's a little measuring cup you can stick it down inside your hot water to keep it warm this is the first one that we're feeding. This is a, a budgie, you know, like a, a parakeet. This is a, a big budgie. And he's going to take about 10 cc's of formula. And just like that, he's all done. Now, you see, I didn't force feed anything. I did not shove that down into his mouth. He welcomed it and swallowed it on his own. So, I need to get just a little bit more formula here. Mm -hmm. And we'll feed this beautiful uh, pearl cockatiel. Hey, baby. Hey, you want that? And you see, they, they do it on their own. It goes down their esophagus. I'll show you. This is the crop. That's the little pouch that holds the food. Their esophagus is on their right-hand side. Their trachea that they breathe through is on the left-hand side. You can see the, the esophagus kind of right right here going into the crop and from the crop the food slowly goes down into into the gizzard the proventricular that is their, their stomach and so what have we got now we got we got some Indian ring nets and they're just kind of everywhere aren't they they climbed on my saw they climb. these are our turquoise pallid and palladino Indian ring nets they are just beautiful as can be. I love these guys. I always say that ring nets are my favorite parrots. They take about 15 cc's of formula a piece. You're through. You're through. You can't have any more. Okay. I make sure I can't have any more. You're going to go ahead and put him back. Here, here, here. Y'all just too wiggly this morning. Here, here. Good morning. Good morning. There you go. Hi, sweet thing. Hi. Let me get some more. Here, 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 here. Well, okay. Hi. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. Hi, baby. Here, Jemma, you want to put him back? This is a Paladino. This is a combination of albino and pallid. Now, of course, it's kind of... It's It looks mostly fried. It has a bluish tint to his wings and tail. Here. And that one's a little boy. He's going to be staying. And this one is a turquoise palette. It looks like a green. It's kind of a greenish color. And this is a little girl. She's going to be staying with us. And just like that, she's fed. All good. Here we go. Another one. Look at that beautiful color. Now, these next three ring necks, they are from a different set of parents. 
They're from a gray dad and a cinnamon blue mom. So they're either going to be gray or blue. What color do you think they are? Uh-oh, Jeremiah Day. Oh, uh, no. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to mix up more formula now. Here we go. Let's see. Open this container back up. There we go. How about just like that? Ringneck make make great great pets. A lot of people they only want a male ringneck because they see the videos here on YouTube about the little males talking and everything. And it's true, males are adorable pets, but females can be just as sweet. They really truly can. Um, My very first ring that was a normal green. His name was Skittles, and his mate, her name was Melba, and she was just adorable. I mean, she was just as cool and as neat and as you could possibly imagine. And some of the females out in the aviary, they are some of the best talkers that I have. Hey there. Hey, precious. Hey, precious. You've already been fed. You like this, that little brother over here, he just kind of turned around oblivious to things. Here, there you go. Little brothers are like that, aren't they, Jeremiah? Uh. Huh? Here. I'm getting a lot of questions about the uh, mystery conures, and we're going to get those out next. Hey, hey, here. Here, here, here. You want some? You want some? Here, here we go. Look. Wake up. Here we go. There. That's I don't want to wake baby. up. I don't either. It's too hard. It is. I'm looking, trying to see what colors they're going to be. Look. Here on the tips of the wings. Can you see they're already blue? Well, Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. You want to go ahead and put him back, baby? I called you, baby. Come on, sunshine. Let's see. I can't see any color coming in on him. He can be blue or gray. The three of these, they're all going to be available as pets. So there, a couple of them are already spoken for. I'm going to have to get with the people who have reserved their babies and see if they want one of these or if they want to wait and see if we get another coloration. Here, I got one more for you. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now, I'm going to loosen this up just a little bit. So a little bit more water. Mystery Kanye number one. Mystery Kanye number one. These are the loudest babies Mystery I have right Kanye now. Number two. They are almost as loud as Jeremiah. Do you hear them? Kind of obnoxious. You see them? Yes, these these are a hybrid conure. Their mother is a hybrid conure. Both of their grandparents on their mother's side were hybrid conures. So this is a multi-generational hybrid conure. That's why I call them mystery conures. We can uh we can call them day day conures if we want to. I'm going to let you guess down in the comments what kind of mystery conure they are. Uh, their grandparents came to me, you know, already as hybrids. And they ended up, for, I, I ended up with two different hybrid conures from two different sources. They ended up being a male and a female and they were compatible and so I put them together. And they raised little hybrid babies for me. So I'm going to let you guess what they are. This is a, I'm going to give you a hint. It's a combination of four different species. And you'll never guess what they are. Apart from my family, only two people in the world know what these are. I don't even know what they are. Jeremiah, he knows the parents, but he probably couldn't tell you what the parents are. 
<laughs> but I think they're adorable and they're gonna make awesome little pets for somebody. They're, they're gonna, uh, you know, I, I can't even tell you what color they're probably gonna be. Most like the blue ass. Uh, they're gonna be mostly green, let, let's just say that. Okay. Here's the older of the two. You want to put them back? I'm going to tell you something. Their parents already have eggs again. Isn't that crazy? More hybrid creatures. Yeah. Grandma's making hybrid creatures. No, you're not. And here's the... You got, you got poopy on your toe, baby. Here, let's get that off. There we go. Is that on the poopy on its toe? Huh, the other one did? No, the, the this one did. Oh, the parakeet? Yeah. Well, get him back out. Let me see. Gosh, I just love them so much. And they did step out. Here, Grandma trains them all to step up. I just kind of reach down and, and get them. Here's a the little parakeet. Only some, not all. You do have poopy. Why are you stepping in poopy? There. Because that does poopy out you while in that. Well, we got to clean. Mean. We got to clean that out. So let me show you what else we have hatched here that uh, is over here in the brooder. Here, Jim, I put this sweet baby back. That is done. There we go. Look here. Here are the baby uh, white crested Polish bantams that we've hatched. There's one all the way in the back. That is uh, an olive egger that has hatched and hasn't found a home yet. Are they not just the cutest little chickens ever? But wait, there's more. Look right here. These aren't chickens at all. These are, uh, well, there's one baby golden pheasant in here, and the rest are all baby silver pheasants. Let's see if I can do it that way. Oh, gosh, your water is filthy. Chicks, what have you done? Ah. Let's close that, and then we'll look right here. That is a military macaw egg. That's being incubated in the little Brinsley incubator. And then back there I have three more incubators full of pheasant eggs. And there's a goose egg and some call duck eggs. Our powder pigeons that we got from Mary Charles, they have babies, two of them. There we go. Isn't that adorable? Gosh, I love them. <laughs> there they are. This pair of cotton patch, they patch four. One was left in the nest, and it died. Another was left in the nest, trying to hatch, and it's now in the incubator. And there are two other eggs from them in the incubator. So we hope that the, the other three hatch and live. Are they not just adorable little babies? I'm not getting any closer. I know I'm zoomed in a lot. There they are. That's as close as I'm gonna get. I'm about eight feet away. We still have another mama in there. A couple more mamas sitting on eggs. So maybe we'll have lots of babies. There's Mama Duck with her nest of 11 eggs right out in the open. She could nest nested under a house in one of the many, many dog houses under some of the half barrels I have provided for them. 
but no, she decides to get right up against the cage and uh, conveniently place steps to. I think she has 11 eggs in there. <laughs>